Art allows me to speak from the heart. Every time I pick up my pencil and start drawing, I embark on a journey of self-discovery and healing. Hi, I'm Musonda Kabul. I'm an artist from Johannesburg, South Africa. In the past, I've been commissioned by clients like Hyundai, the Mastercard Foundation, GoDaddy, and the Red Bull Music Academy. Now I'm lucky enough to be commissioned by Adobe. Welcome to this Adobe Fresco Vector Brush Tutorial. For the purpose of this video, I've decided to stick to the basic round brush. Now my smoothing is at zero. Moves a lot quicker, but also a lot rougher. If you want to be more refined, but slow, set your smoothing a bit higher. My process starts with thumbnail sketches. 30 second drawings to get the idea across in the quickest way possible in as many ways as possible. After selecting my preferred thumbnail sketch, I add more detail and move on to my rough sketch, a very loose um, but more detailed version of the thumbnail sketch. You want to have as much detail in your final sketch as possible so that the inking process is smooth and seamless. I don't like to make new decisions while I'm inking the illustration, so I add as much detail as possible during the rough sketch phase. The next phase is inking. When inking, we want to keep our brush at 10 points. Our smoothing is at 50%. We've done all the hard work in the rough sketch phase. Um, we've got as much detail as possible, so Now's the time to clear your mind, listen to some of your favorite tunes, and just let the vector brush do the rest of the work. Um, I keep the, the smoothing of the brush usually below 50 because I find it a bit hard to work efficiently when the smoothing is set as high as something like 100%. Um, it slows down the process and it also... I feel a bit disconnected from the work. Um, it feels a bit mechanical. Uh, but that's just a personal thing. Next, we define our values. We do this to set the mood of the drawing. Then we create a new layer add a color to it, and set the blending mode to color and see what happens. Next, we add our shadows, blending mode to multiply. Then we add a bit more color. Then we add some highlights. Take advantage of your color libraries. Then we take our artwork to Photoshop. We add some lighting and final adjustments. Thanks for watching. This has been Moose showing you how I use the Adobe Fresco Vector Brush.